in this video i will explain uh, redux so with the help of redux how you can implement the counter so first install dependency react redux then uh, redux so we will install these two dependency react redux and redux hum do dependency install karenge react redux and redux after that we will make a folder we will make a file so first one we will create stored js so we know na in redux only one store is there then we will create a file uh, action dot for the uh, action dot js and another file we can create reducer dot js reducer and store and action three files we have created now in index.js file we will make some uh, we will make some changes import provider so just like we will import provider from react redux from react redux we will import provider and we also import store from store so we will import this store this store and provider from react redux and yeah we will make like provider provider so we will uh, wrap this in provider in between provider here like this and we will write here store because to store pass as a prop right so we will make some changes in the index.js first import provider from this one import a store from a store and then in between the provider you will wrap the app this app component and pass store as a probe then you can make action like the first one is you can see export const increment the first action like would be increment then uh, arrow function uh, return type an object return type what is the return type suppose we may say it increment and another we will create action decrement decrement we make it decrement so we have create two actions the first one is increment and the type is increment and the second one is decrement and the type is decrement so this is right so we have create two actions then come to the reducer so we make reducer like const root like name of the reducer root reducer suppose and big arrow function and it takes two things the first is state that is initial state and the second thing is action so state this it is initial state initial state so define here const initial state it's an object so let's suppose count zero so this is initial state in here we will use switch as we will mention action dot type and the first case is first case is increment first case is increment this one this is increment so return return copy state then count state dot count plus one another one we will create decrement okay we will create another one decrement so this is the decrement this action is decrement this decrement we will create for reducer so this is decrement count minus 
one then we will create default default return state right now just do one thing export default root reducer that's it so we have created reducer and we have created action now we will make a store import create store from uh, redux then here we will import root reducer so we have create import root reducer cost store first to create a store then we will pass it here root reducer export default store so now this way so first we will import the store from redux import root reducer for reducer and also store request to create a store and we will pass the root to do root reducer right so we have created action store and reducer in the app.js come to this point we will import it here two things the first thing is uh, use selector use selector former use view dispatch from uh, react redux then you need to two things we will import first one uh, increment decrement from from actions we will have to import import from action right so it works just like you select it is like just a connect function in redux so you select a we have like map this map state to props you dispatch we have like map dispatch to props so we are we are using the hook you select an and you dispatch hook and then const count equals to view selector you selector then state so you will mention state dot count so you will uh, call the state count dispatch const const dispatch you dispatch right so you select a view dispatch then come to this point so we will here the curly braces so we will so this is your, your initial state is zero right so so this is the initial state zero like this the initial state you have mentioned it here so if you mention it is 10 then it would be 10 right so this is the initial state then make two button we will make two button we will make two button it okay okay the first button is increment for increment and then decrement and make on click event and arrow function so dispatch and call increment function and here on click okay arrow function dispatch call decrement function so we have make two button and perform the on click event call the dispatch so it is calling increment function we call it decrement function so now you can see initial state is zero so now it is incrementing and for this is for decrementing now it is decreasing it is increasing and this is decreasing so this year in essence if you make it 10 so initial would state would be 10 it will be increasing and this is for decreasing so this way you can make a 
counter with the help of Redux. So you need these library React Redux and then Redux. Then you need to make a action, reduce and store. Then you have to make some changes in index.js provider like this and you will have to wrap this and this is your action create and type increment decrement this is store you have to import create a root is from reduction this is reducer right so it is just uh, take a state and action and this way you can create a reducer then come to this point so you select a, these two uh, hooks and after that it is calling the state it is dispatch the action so this way you can implement a counter with the help of Redux.